Well, now the entertainment company casting spells on Harry Potter fans, promising their favourite stars. But they didn't deliver, so we went looking for the money and who's responsible. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. We worked so hard over all our, our years in the public eye to be transparent, to be honest with people, to be upfront and treat people with respect. And I think that they're just trying to tarnish our name with this to cover their own back. That just seems extraordinary. <clears throat> I think it's just shocking that you could treat people like that and um, just shift the blame as if it's, it's all hunky dory. Stupidly, I fell for it in the beginning. So that was just a big lie. If this story was a movie, you could call it Harry Potter and the Cursed Fans. Only this time, there's no happily ever after. Lights, camera, action. There's a cast of hundreds, enough to fill the Hogwarts Great Hall. Who's still waiting for their money back? So that's pretty much everybody on here. There's Anthony. You need to take full responsibility for your actions. Melissa. The whole experience has been extremely disappointing and heart-wrenching. And Finn. It just feels like people just keep lying. Not to mention all your emails to a current affair. For thousands, thousands of dollars um, sitting somewhere. These angry witches and wizards come from everywhere. I'm from Western Sydney, Newcastle. I'm here from New Zealand. Forking out big bucks to see their Harry Potter heroes in the flesh. From your daughter's 16th birthday, as you can see behind us, we've got a lot of pop culture, Harry Potter. It was about $780-odd. Thousands of fans signed up to the national quiz show tour run by Wowzer Entertainment. But since COVID hit, it's been repeatedly postponed. Now, two years on, the show's been called off entirely. Getting a refund is harder than breaking into Gringotts Bank. So where's the money? At the helm of Wowzer, Justin Armour. Mid-2019, Justin was bankrupted, meaning he can't be a company director. Wowzers in a family member's name, despite Justin running the show. Justin is Australia's very own Voldemort. While ticket holders have been busy trying to get their cash back, Justin's been busy too, spotted from Melbourne to Perth and Darwin. Bloody hell! <laughs> Bad taste in the mouth this has done for the arts industry going forward. If Quidditch was a game of excuses, Wowzer would probably take out the cup. Its latest attempt to weasel its way out was to blame the Weasley twins, falsely accusing them of being to blame and then ghosting Wowzer. I would say shocking and really deceitful. Movie stars James and Oliver Phelps were supposed to be the headline act. They spoke with us via Zoom from the UK. The alarm bell started ringing for us when we heard um, we heard about people the first time around not getting their, their refunds back. Whatever issues they've, they've listed on there, their statement is complete false. They seem to have blamed you on their email to the ticket holders and told people to contact your managers to get a refund. You know, it's, it's kind of a sh showing that they're not you know, not everything is as they as it seems with Wilder, and you know we're we're just really sorry for everybody who is going to come to any of the events. Have they told you what's gone wrong on their end? Nothing. <laughs> we know. We literally know everything that you guys have. Obviously, we were to a point um, sympathetic to begin with with the rescheduling, and then gradually it just seemed to go really quiet and not knowing what was going on. I did all the refund forms, everything they requested, and nothing. Dental nurse Carly fears not even her homemade liquid luck potion will reverse this terrible curse. Jump on your broomstick, go the other direction. The Australian bank uh, investigated it and they refunded part of the money, but then about an hour later of it arriving into our accounts, Wowza took the money back out again. An incredible act of sorcery, says mum of two Amy, 
who also wants to know why booking agency Ticket Booth is refusing to help. It told us it never had possession of or access to any funds related to any attendees' transactions and it's still owed monies by Wowzer Entertainment who have yet to pay any invoices for the use of our platform. Back to our game of Quidditch. If you thought catching the golden snitch was hard, try catching up with Justin Armour. Thank you for calling, Jessica. Wowzer Entertainment is now being shut down by ASIC, just like Wowzer Events was in 2019. Justin's now involved in another company called Top End Shows, owned by his 20-year-old daughter. I, I just think there's not enough protections under the legislation to ensure that these people cannot trade under any form. I'm coming in not as a Harry Potter um, ticket holder, but I actually was going on a celebrity cruise that was to be in March in 2020. That also never eventuated. I tried several times to um, recoup those funds. It's been very difficult. Um, they've, yeah, the banks have made it really hard as well. We can also reveal that some venues, tentative inquiries were made by Wowser, but bookings were never actually finalised. Honestly, I'm just surprised that a company like this in Australia can get away with it. I know in the statement like Wowser were making out like that, they're a family-run business and everything like that. But, I mean, we feel more sorry for the people from the hard-working families who have put money into something which is never going to materialise. And we just, our heart goes out to them. Part of Harry Potter is that it is the world of magic and showing that, at the end of the day, good does trump evil. But did that happen today? Perhaps we'll get some answers when Justin steps out of his invisibility cloak. Until then, there's always a spell. Imperio, so we can control them to make them give us our re refunds back. Imperio. Thank you so much for speaking with us, and uh, we hope uh, to see you down under very soon. Fingers crossed. Cool. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done, Sam, as well, just for uh, bringing this to life for everybody as well.